breaking the wall of drug-resistant malaria. Merrin Fraser, Falling Walls Lab, Australia. The legend of the Trojan War was set 3,000 years ago, a decade-long struggle ending with the Greeks sailing away, seemingly defeated, leaving behind a wooden horse. But the Trojan victory was short-lived as they pulled their trophy in through the city walls, unaware that their enemies lay hidden inside. I'm not a historian, but I'm working on a much older war where a Trojan horse may again prove useful. I work on the struggle between humans and malaria parasites, a war that has raged on for the entirety of human history. Malaria is caused by microscopic parasites, which shelter within the safe city walls of our red blood cells. Attacking from within, these parasites have killed billions of humans, but with medical advancements, we seem to be coming out on top. But our progress has stagnated, and our death toll has risen, in part because our best weapons, our frontline treatments, are becoming less effective as the parasites evolve drug resistance to overcome our advances. We need new strategies, and I'm looking back to ancient Greek legends for some fresh ideas. Now, first, we need to understand our enemies and identify weak spots. Well, malaria parasites love cholesterol. We tend to think of cholesterol as bad, but we do need some to survive. Malaria parasites are the same, but they can't make it themselves, so they have to steal it from our blood. Usually, we would try and stop this thievery, starving them out. But this takes time, and a person might die before winning the battle. So what if we took some Trojan inspiration? Instead of breaking down the wall, I wanted something that they would wave on through. So we hid an anti-malarial drug in with the cholesterol, hoping it would sneak in under the guise of a tasty treat. This strategy fooled the parasites, killing all the stages which lived in our body and drug-resistant parasites faster and more effectively than undisguised drugs. The strategy is broadly applicable and works with multiple anti-malarial drugs, a game changer in a world where our treatments are failing. But these parasites live in our body, and we don't want collateral damage. I'm pleased to say that the human cells were a lot smarter than the parasites, and the compound was less toxic. So we're breaking down the wall of drug-resistant malaria and reducing the impact on our own side, all under the guise of a wooden horse <coughs> slipping in through the city walls.